A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on His own, but only what He sees the Father doing. For what He does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows Him everything that He Himself does, and He will show Him greater works than this, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son gives life to whomever He wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but He has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent Him. Amen, amen, I say to you, Whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you. The hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this because the hour is coming in which all who are in tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord He also called God his own Father. Compared with the other evangelists, John has Jesus referred to God as Father so frequently that the title becomes almost synonymous with God. Jesus addresses God as no other Jew would dare, as Abba, the address of the children, young or old, to their father, to show their tender filial love. Jesus' use of it expresses his unique relationship with God, his unique sonship, he does not put himself on the level of disciples when they pray to God. He does not pray the Our Father with them. It is for the disciples to pray it. Rightly, do the Jews interpret that in the manner that he calls God as his own Father, he makes himself equal to God. Jesus does not blaspheme, however, for indeed he is God's Son.